If you think you are beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you don't. If you like to win, but you think you can't, it is almost certain you won't. If you think you will lose, you are lost. For all of the world we find, success begins with a fellow's will. It's all in the state of mind. If you think for all of us, you are. You have got to think high to rise. You have got to be sure of yourself before you can ever win a fight. Life struggles don't always go to the stronger or faster men. But sooner or later, the man who wins is a man who thinks he can. ख्वाहिशों से नहीं फूल गिरते झोली में कर्म की साख को हिलाना होगा कुछ नहीं होगा कोसने से किस्मत को अपने हिस्से का दिया खुद ही जलाना होगा और अंत में आपको एक ही बात बोलना चाहता हूं मैं तो अकेला ही चला था जाने में मंजिल मगर मैं तो अकेला ही चला था जाने में मंजिल मगर लोग आते गए और कारवा बनता गया on a mission to create 1 million public speakers by 2030 are you ready for that Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much uh, for uh, having me here, and thank you very much, Jaspreet, for the wonderful introduction. Let me start with a small narrative or a story which happened in my life. So this was back in two thousand seven, and I was about to receive one of the highest award in a private bank where I achieved some major target. And when I walked into the auditorium, I was not aware. that this would be one of the ugliest days of my life my girlfriend was along with me her name was jasmine i could not marry her later on but somehow we were along that time and she was very supportive she was motivating me to go and share some of the stuff on the stage and tell everybody there were around 300 people tell everybody that yes you have achieved something today and this is the time that you have to share your strategy you have to share your ideas with the people and i said yeah okay that's been this is so simple i will definitely share my top two or three ideas with everybody so that everybody feel helped the time came when i my name was about to be announced i went on the podium i received the award and my country heard over there invited me to speak a few words on the dais Oh, here the challenge begins. I happily moved towards the dais. I was watching people. Till that time, it was all okay. But within few seconds, it was a complete blackout. I could not say a single word. I completely stopped. The butterflies were oozing out of my stomach. My legs were trembling. My hands were shaking. my forehead was full of sweat and i could not imagine myself a single word eventually i somehow escaped and later on i had a word with jasmine and she said kya ho gaya tha aapko kyu nahi bol paye aap i said i don't know jasmine what happened to me that time but i promise you one thing i will never ever let this day come in my life again and from that day i started working on my public speaking skills and that moment i did not realize that i will come this far become a coach and training so many people but i did had a message inside me that yes i will definitely learn the art of public speaking and later on i realized what happened on the stage was a panic attack i faced my life's first panic attack on the stage in fact i had been through an issue if somebody has heard about this hyperhidrosis where you have lot of excess water coming out of your body and people used to say aapke ki body se itna paseena kyu aa raha hai bahut zyada paseena aa raha hai aapko kya ghabra rahe ho aap kya and i used to think i'm not i'm not panic why is he thinking like that and why why does this sweat comes out of my body again and again and again and again, and again? and that was the moment i decided that yes i'm going to overcome all these problems all these issues but i did face something 
I did face something that day and I would like to share with all of you. I hope the screen is visible. Yeah. Yes. Hello, who's there? I am your death in public speaking. But I don't want to die on the stage. Have you prepared for your content? Hello, who's there? I am your death in public speaking. But, but I don't want to die on the stage. Have you prepared for your stories? Hello, who's there? I am your death in public speaking. But I don't want to die on the stage. Have you prepared who's going to be your audience? Are these statements familiar to you, my dear friends? Have you ever faced death in public speaking like I did years back? Today, I'm going to share something spectacular. It will blow your mind. This is going to be one of the finest session in your life which you have ever attended. And let me tell you that it's going to be highly engaging session. I do not need a book. I do not need a reference material. I do not need anything. If you have any question, just bluntly ask. And I promise you, towards the end of the session, all the queries will be resolved. Happy? Just type in happy. If you're happy, just type in chat box happy. Because today I'm going to give a lot of solutions to all of you. You all are entrepreneurs, business owners. I could see some lovely interactions move going on when I joined around 925. And I could notice people were talking about how to accelerate in business. And it's all about money. Money is the biggest motivation in the world. Type yes, if you agree. Money is the biggest motivation. Why you are here? It's all about money at the end, my friend. But let me tell you something interesting now. Are you ready? Public speaking is a performance-based communication task. Please keep on making your notes because I'm going to share some exclusive things with all of you. Now, why it is a performance-based communication task is because you're not just supposed to speak. You're supposed to do a lot of stuff. Maybe you have to count your beats like this because you're having fear and you have to take God's name. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Baharam, Ram, 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 Ram. You have to do so many things on the stage and it just does not ends. It's not about speaking. It's about thinking on your feet, keeping your mind active, watching your audience, what they are thinking and letting them understand and move and shift their emotions and letting them know that how they have changed within themselves. That's what public speaking is all about. So there is a difference between private communication and public communication. And that's what I just stated. And if you see all these people, somebody is using a prop, somebody is telling a story, somebody is performing and somebody is delivering a keynote. There is a special ability you got to create when you're on the stage. You have to be calm, composed, like Barack Obama. You need to have a chiseled voice like Michelle Obama. You got to be an avid storyteller like Prime Minister Narendra Modi. You got to take some excellent examples, probably like Arvind Kejriwal. But you got to understand one thing. Even if you are not a politician or you want to become a speaker, you got to be in the mindset of performance because public speakers are not speakers. They are the artists on the stage and an artist know what to perform from the stage. But there is an interesting thing which I want to share with all of you, which is known as speaking civility. Now, what is speaking civility? It's all about the attitude, the tone and the words you use. Stick and stones may break your bones, but the words will break your hearts and the same words can bind you with people. Hope I said that well. You got to understand one thing. Whenever you are using a professional platform, whenever you are standing in front of people to deliver a message, you need to say what you're expected to say. You got to be following the objective, Ravi. 
Isn't that true? And Manoj, if you are not using the right tone, Shitija, if you're not following the right attitude, Jaspreet, if you're not following your passion, Ayushi, if you're not following your facial expressions, Neha, not the right hand gestures, then guess what will happen? You're not following the speaking civility. It's important. No, no, it's not important. It's critical. Because when you are on the stage, you have a responsibility to share a message. But I'm sharing something interesting now, very interesting. And I'm going to give you a strong reason to get into paid public speaking business. Now, some of you belong to uh, air ticketing business. Some of you are into manufacturing. Some of you are into retail. Some of you are into trading. Some of you are into services, consultation. I have something for you today. You all can speak and earn. Do you want to speak and earn? If you are ready, just type in the chat box, I. We are in the changing times in our country, ladies and gentlemen. Charan says, I. Hindi wala, I. I like that. You got to understand one thing. We are in the changing times and this is the one of the best times in our country to get into public speaking and start sharing your messages. And the data which I'm going to share with you now, it's going to blow your mind. Let's watch this. The earning potential for each of the public speakers starts from 250 US dollars to 30,000 US dollars per day. Per day, I said. Now, if I convert this into INR, it becomes 20,000 rupees to 25 lakh rupees per day. And I can tell you numerous names, people who are earning. Another figure for you, 21 lakhs to two crores, or sorry, to two crores per day if you're a celebrity or a known face and people get paid for it. There's a huge potential in public speaking business the only thing which you need to connect is how you can deliver your message, how you can design your thoughts and how you can create your ideas and package it and present it. That's the power of public speaking. And this is one of the most powerful slides you can never see in your life. And you never know after this presentation, after this very moment, you are now thinking, I can say it, I Sare bolte hai, maachha bolta hu. Ab ye bhi keh rahe hai, paise kama sakte hai. Try karke dekhenge ek bari. Puchta hu inse bhi. You must be thinking like this. Or maybe you have some other thoughts going on in your mind. But I must tell you that today from this presentation, I'm giving you a very strong reason to assess why you should get into public speaking. And I'm not saying leave your business. Hello. I'm not saying you leave your business. All I'm saying is you promote your business. You leverage your business, you leverage your knowledge, you share your passion and ideas with people. That's all I'm saying. Now I'm going to share three principles which I follow in my trade. I was very happy to receive when Amit was talking about his trade into dates and dry fruits. Now this is my trade, Amit. And the first principle which I follow, Preet, is you can only speak what you have insight. 95% of the time, you speak with your subconscious mind. Aniket, not the conscious mind, but the subconscious mind. If your subconscious mind does not have material, Balvinder, what will you say? Nothing. You don't have anything to say, Charan. You can only speak what is there inside the folder and the file which your brain accesses that very moment when you want to say something and it gives a signal to this place and it's coming out. It's all about inside. It's an inside game. You can only speak what you have inside. The second one, public speaking is never about perfection. It's always about self-confidence and higher self-esteem. How many of you have self-confidence and higher self-esteem? Just type in the chat box, I. It's all about that. 
and trust me if you are confident if you have higher esteem you can definitely speak most of you are typing in i i was expecting this reply because i know you all are confident business owners you all have been inspiring lives with the kind of products and services you are promoting in the market so there's no question about it that you don't have confidence and higher self esteem and this is the same quality you need in public speaking the third principle which i followed in my trade is i am not a public speaking expert but i am an expert public speaking student becoming a student in your business in your work gives you humility it gives you moral reasons to support people it gives you the idea where you can promote lot of social ideas so these are the three traits or the three principles from my traits if you are liking it what i'm just sharing as of now just type in the chat box liking it come on do that i am here to add value to what you already know about public speaking or probably what you do not know about public speaking neha says liking it charan says liking it ravi says liking it madhulina ayushi loved it thank you very much everyone thank you i'm truly amazed and there's some positive reinforcement in this entire webinar now we are moving ahead towards what we are here for and that is the five top reasons of death in public speaking and how to escape so i'm going to give you one by one the reasons why we all fail on the stage and how we overcome that so the first one is staying authentic for long becomes challenging if i tell you that you have got to be real the entire day you have a speech and you have got to be real you will say it's not possible to be real the entire day it's not possible it's 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 not practical it's not pragmatic to stay all the time you well it's next to impossible many of you think like that but i'm going to give you one principle today and if you follow that principle just like a cup of tea because the name of the principle is the tea principle it's the morning time and i want you to absorb like a tea so tea is your thoughts something i know e is your emotions something i feel actions is something i do thoughts will come from your experiences zindagi ki har subah nayi umange lekar aati hai aur zindagi ki har sham nayi tajurbe dekar jaati hai what are your experiences i'm asking you what are your experiences you got to share that that is what is come what comes under the something i know category then what are your emotions how can you feel emotive about sharing something if you are ready, ready to talk about your business your failures your setbacks your rock bottoms you got to feel emotive and share it that is where people will have the message retention emotions are the glue that causes the memories to stick if you can create emotions while talking while doing conversations you will remember that for a very long time just a quick 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 exercise right now i want you to imagine in last one week what was your strongest emotion where you felt very positive or very negative or near by that i promise you if you felt negative you remember that story and i promise you if you are very positive you also remember that story do you know why because the feelings are connected to your emotions if you agree just type in the chat box agree and that is why i'm saying emotion is the glue that causes the memories to stick and that is how you also create stories actions is something which you do you can only say to people to follow what you do in your routine your habits your ideas your abilities your caliber so that's the t principle for you the second one is a speaker feels underrated when he notices someone more influencing in front of him Yes, what? If you are a corporate employee and you see your CEO of the company, you know you are a good orator. But if your CEO of the company is there standing in front of you or sitting in front of you, you sometimes feel underrated. You feel demotivated because he is senior to you. Does that happen to you ever in your life or during your corporate career? Imagine you are speaking and suddenly, out of the blue, Narendra Modi, Prime Minister of India, comes and sits in. आज देखे जरा शेरी साहब कैसे बात करते हैं? बड़ा सुना इनके बारे में एंड एंड आई एंड आई एम वाचिंग दैट प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी इज सिटिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी व्हाट विल बी माय रिएक्शन व्हाट इज गोइंग ऑन इनसाइड मी व्हाट विल बी माय पेप टॉक 
It's very important to manage your composure, as I said in the beginning. So the solution is affirm strongly that you're a speaker and everyone else is a spectator. They are not on the stage. You are on the stage. And if you are on the stage, you have the responsibility to share your experiences, your ideas. So that at the end of your talk or the presentation, even if somebody senior listening to you walks out and he says, I think this was one of the best ways to express. I think this was one of the best presentations I've heard over a period of last one year. I think this is one of the best ways I heard about how to do business in my life. That should be the remark of the spectator. It doesn't matter even if he's senior to you. Number three, impromptu speaking. I know it's challenging. If I ask you to speak right now, invite you, and I challenge you. If you invite me, I can do that. Why? Because I'm in this trade. But there is a technique which you can follow and you can learn. And if you have heard about the multiple food stores, there is a concept of heat and eat going on in the market. You just heat the food and eat the food. Within two minutes, it's ready. So in impromptu speaking, it's all about feel and speak. What you feel, just speak it out. Because when you are supposed to speak impromptu, people are not judging you. People are not observing you. People are not forming any mentality to create an impression about you. They're just looking out for your views, what comes out through you. And you can only speak what you know that time. So the solution is start talking about objects around you. That's the best way to practice impromptu speaking. If you are into sales, talk about sales. If you are into employee engagement, talk about employee engagement. If you are into leadership, talk about leadership. If you are into business, product and services, talk about them. And start telling them about the entire thing which you know to the unknown people. Public speaking is all about delivering your messages to strangers. I did not know you except Jaspreet and Ayushi, whom we have uh, touch based just on a few messages. I never spoke to anyone of you. But did that challenge my confidence? Yes, it does. But did that diminish my self esteem? No. Because I know my job well and I know what I'm going to share with all of you. Impromptu speaking is an art and you got to definitely, definitely practice it and master it. The next one is if someone calls your name and you have nearly 30 seconds to respond. Uh, this happened to me when I was attending an award function and that's how this, this entire technique was originated. And they asked me, Shariji, uh, we want you to say something. And Shariji was looking here and there because he had no clue why they are asking me to speak. I was just here to receive an award. That's all. I had no clue why they want me to speak. And the only word which I saw there was a business word because it's a business summit. I was a guest of honor there and I saw a business word. And guess what? I did something that day unconsciously and I originated this idea and I call this as acronym method. If you are in a situation where somebody calls you and you have just 30 seconds, just pick up a word, a four letter word or a three letter word or a five letter word give a keyword to each alphabet and each alphabet will become a keyword and that keyword will become a sentence, phrase, example, stories, and it goes big. Many of the global public speakers and international speakers follow this technique and they speak for days. Next one. Practice is boring. I know practice presentation practice is a boring, boring job. Yeah. Oh, how will you? I do it. No, no, no. It's very boring. Practice is boring and I will speak with conviction. Rest God will help me. Many of us think like this. And when, you know, especially when you are going to talk, this is a very casual response, my dear friend. You're not fooling anyone. You're fooling yourself. You're not responsible if you're saying like this. Let me tell you that. Because the time of your audience is precious. It's so important. It's not about you. It's about them. So what is the solution? It's a communication framework, which you need to understand. It says 55% of the body language, 7% of the words, 38% is the voice tone. 
Now there was this guy, Dr. Albert Mehrabian, in 1971. He originated a concept because he was a behavioral psychologist that when you are presenting something, you are presenting 55 percent of the body. When you are doing a presentation, you are only using 38 percent of your voice tone, and only seven percent, which is your content, that is effective, is only seven percent. So what it means is when you are delivering a presentation, my voice is important. My body movements are of utmost importance and my words are important, but it's only 7%. Now, a question, a trivia for all of us. Does that mean content is not important? Well, actually, how did he arrived onto these percentages? That's also a trivia. The answer to all these questions is he arrived at these percentages because he was just following the behavior and attitude of speakers, nothing else. On the behavior and attitude of presenters and the audience, he derived at these percentages. Do not take it any other way. And the second is when you are presenting a topic at that moment, what creates effectiveness on the stage is 55% body movement and 38% voice and 7% content. It has to be seen this way. So the answer to the question number one is, does that mean content is not important? No, content is extremely important. If my content is not good today, guess what? You might have been feeling boring or you might have been thinking, I already know all of this. It's just a repetition for me. Content is the kingdom. Presentation is the queen. Then who's the king? Presenter is the king. That's the theory you got to follow. Content is the kingdom. Presentation is the queen and presenter is the king. So these are the five ways where you can avoid death by public speaking and it can definitely help you bring charm, dynamism, authenticity and the power of vulnerability on the stage. They are all important, my dear friends. Now, I'll tell something about storytelling. If you notice, I started with my story. But you might be thinking, that's fine, Sherry, but how about my story? Because I want to share my story with everybody. Well, I want to share something with you that through this session, one of the major takeaways for all of you is start working on your personal story. It doesn't matter which business you are in. If you cannot express your personal journey, story, failures, setbacks, rock bottoms, then to me, you're not authentic. And people love to do business with the people who are authentic, who know the route, who are humble, who love to share their failures, not their successes. I leave that answer up to you. But all I'm saying is we all learn from people when we are in the journey of entrepreneurship. And we all learn from the stories which we all share with each other. So a simple principle which I recommend today with all of you is CDC model. Character, desire, conflict. Character is basically the protagonist, the hero of the story. It can be the villain of the story also, which is the antagonist. So character is important in every story. Desire, uski ichha kya hai? Wo kya karna chata hai? Wo kuch peena chata hai? Wo kuch kharina chata hai? Wo kuch jana chata hai? Wo marna chata hai? What's his desire? Conflict. उसमें दिक्कत क्या आ रही है? परेशानी क्या है? मुद्दा क्या है भाई? करता क्यों नहीं है? परेशानी क्यों हो रही है? So character, desire, conflict. If you follow these three keywords, it's known as CDC, picked up from the acronym. If you follow CDC model in any story, it will become an interesting story. अगर story में ups and downs नहीं होंगे ना, ऊपर नीचे नहीं होगा, उतार चढ़ाव नहीं होगा, तो वो story में मजा नहीं आएगा सुनने में. There has to be hooking. There has to be suspense. There has to be conflict and there has to be desire. In every Bollywood or Hollywood movies, which you have watched, or probably have recently watched a series, you will find CDC model applicable. Just check it out. It's there. Character is there. Desire is there. Conflict is definitely there. Without conflict, there is no series. Bacha gungya mil lira. No series ke episode hoge, bachcha kyo nahi mila? No series dekh li maine. No episode hoge, kam milega bachcha bhai. Pata laga bachcha to kahin gumai nahi tha, wo kisi ki galti ki wajah se piche kahin rakha hua tha. And and you know they have packed up everything with in such a way 
that you feel full of suspense and you kept on eating a lot of stuff. You're in your bedroom, you're enjoying the movie, the, the air conditioner is on and you're just enjoying the good stuff. And you are thinking, when will this kid be back? And that's what I called conflict. So how you present the conflict and desire is all up to you. Now, is presentation a whole body affair? Uh, we were talking about the speaking, presentation, but do you think whole body is required? Let's find out. And this is one of the last slides of this presentation today. Now let's understand what are the functions of our body and what they can help upon. First of all, the head, this head, you can memorize your content with the rehearsals, with the practice, and you will feel more confident, confident in front of the audience when you are going to talk. The second one is your mouth. You have to do voice modulation, voice range, voice inflection, stress on the keywords, which helps the audience to engage. Silence is a fantastic tool. Strategic silence is even more classy. Hands, you have to orchestrate your hands, your gestures, and you have to make the message meaningful because when you have presentation or at some stages, even if you have presentation, you have to show your hands like a visual aid. Eyes, the eye contact, contact is extremely important. Now here in a virtual kind of a platform, the lenses becomes your audience, the, the camera lens, but the eyes will help you engage with everybody. And excess of eye blinking can let people know that probably you are nervous or you're in a confused state of mind, you're in some chaos, you got to avoid that completely. Now about the ears, if you are a good speaker or if you want to become a great speaker, you got to be a great listener as well. And you got to understand the mood of your audience, what they are feeling. All these things are unheard messages coming through vibes to you. And you got to understand those vibes. That's where I say your EQ has got to be high as a public speaker as well. Listening is as important as speaking. Now your entire back, your stand-up position, how you're talking, how you're sitting, that symmetry has to be there to make you professional, authentic, and dynamic. And your legs, especially when you're walking on the stage physically, you got to shuffle your legs properly. You, have, you got to decide your movements on the left, on the right, and you got to plan your entire movement. So my dear friends, presentation is a whole body affair. On this note, I would like to share about my publishings. These are a few books which I have written and I've been a part of. And uh, besides that, I would like to know now what are your key takeaways? And uh, with permission of Jaspreet, I would like to invite everybody to have Q&A. If you have any questions, I would love to answer all your questions right now with the best of my ability. You can listen to my free videos on YouTube. Just type author share, you will get all the data. Go and subscribe the channel if you haven't. Follow me on LinkedIn. And this is my quick profile, which Jaspeet has just showed it to you in the, in, the, in the beginning. I have spoken on a lot of prestigious platforms with multiple corporates. I keep on getting invited. If you feel that I can be a good, of good value to anyone in your business or your associations, I would love to contribute and I will be happy to give some value there. That's all from my side. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure to talking to all of you. If you think you are beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you don't. If you like to win, but you think you can't, it is almost certain you won't. If you think you will lose, you are lost. For all of the world we find, success begins with a fellow's will. It's all in the state of mind. If you think for all class, you are. You have got to think high to rise. You have got to be sure of yourself before you can ever win a prize. Life struggle don't always go to the stronger or faster men. But sooner or later, the man who wins is a man who thinks he can. Why show say nahi fool girte choli me? Karm ki saath ko hilana hoga. Kuch nahi hoga ko usne se kismat ko apne hisse ka diya khud hi jalana hoga. Aur ant me aapko ek hi baat bolna chahta hu. Main to akela hi chala tha jaane be manzil magar. Main to akela hi chala tha jaane be manzil magar. 
लोग आते गए और कारवा बनता गया On a mission to create 1 million public speakers by 2030. Are you ready for that?